Hi, this is Julie at Love's Beginning with a message called Abiding in Willingness, Dropping the Monster Toys. Each person you encounter in the physical or in thought issues an invitation to cooperate with the whole of you. If you feel any disturbance or disquiet, it is not the time to judge the illusion. This disquiet is a signal that you are not yet willing to see yourself as you are. You are not yet ready to see the true nature of the one perceived as other. In these moments, tune into your willingness. There is a willingness to see things as they truly are. Abide there for a moment. Just the tiniest shift, the tiniest settling down, is all you need. Everything you seem to encounter is an invitation to realize that you are the wholeness and that you can allow the wholeness to operate the character you perceive as you to operate the characters you see as others. If you have a sense of, I am doing this, as you move about your day, you will be tempted to judge. You will be tempted to look with pride or with blame, both distorted lenses. You will be tempted to look through these lenses at all the seeming doings of all the characters. When you feel this back and forth, you can locate your willingness to experience clarity, to see things as they truly are. Abide there for a moment. If you keep returning, this will become your regular setting. You won't leave it. When you consider the characters in the drama you're experiencing to be subject to what you consider to be, quote, real forces in your illusionary world, you feed illusion. Consider this a game of don't feed the monster. This monster is imaginary, but when you feed it with thought, it begins to seem real. When you believe it is real, when you treat it as real, you feed it with more thought, and then it seems bigger and more powerful. So whenever there is any feeling of disquiet or disturbance, it is a signal that you have returned to your old habit of feeding the imaginary monster, making it seem real in your sight. You can relax out of that every time by finding your willingness. Find your willingness to allow what is unreal to pass away. Abide there. This is home. You are here to learn how to stop using thought to feed the illusion that you made. You have done nothing wrong in making illusion because you have done nothing at all. You made the ego that gives rise to the illusion and in making ego you have made nothing at all. This has always been a game of pretend. The idea of wrongdoing belongs to ego. The idea of wrong thinking is helpful, however. Your notion of duality still serves you when you apply it to how you feel. If there is peace and joy, you are not feeding the monster. If there is any disturbance, it is never about what in the world seems to be causing your disturbance. It is about your thinking every time. The solution to a feeling of disquiet every time is to go to a place of willingness. Find your willingness to have false thoughts swept away. Find your willingness to allow right thinking to enter your awareness. It will be delivered to you when you allow it. We're just helping you to escape from something that doesn't exist. When you're treating it as if it has existence, that's when you feel pain, disquiet, or discomfort. This is the only cause for any seemingly negative state. We open our arms to embrace you. And when you open your arms to embrace us, you drop all the illusionary toys you have been holding. Here's to a day of dropping monster toys and resting in the willingness that carries you to peace. Thanks for listening.